Welcome back, my dear friends, to another daily tarot reading. In today's reading, we're going to take a look at what messages are coming through for you guys, what you can expect, you know, what the overall energy is, and any guidance that comes through for you guys. So before I get started, I wanted to let you guys know about this stuff here. I know I talk about it in every one of my videos. It is Sheila G. Um, I don't know if I've showed you guys these, but these are the honey sticks that it comes in also. And it's really great for kids or on the go, something like that. You know, you can take them with you. And if you need a boost of energy, if you, um, you know, need some clarity in a moment, you're about to do something really important. This is great to have on you. So yeah, check out the Nutra Honey um, Sheila Jit Honey Sticks here. But then I also have the regular Sheila Jit, which I have been taking for eight or nine months now. I'm not quite sure how long it's been, but this stuff is amazing, you guys. It's all natural, Ayurvedic. It is really great for just overall health, but I've really noticed the biggest difference for myself with my intuition, with mental clarity, brain fog, um, and also it helps a lot with energy. So it's an energy booster too, because it's full of minerals that we lack in our daily diets, our, I don't know what you want to call mainstream diets that we have. So this is really good stuff to just add to your daily routine. I add it to my coffee every day. Um, I take honey sticks with me if I'm going somewhere and my kids take them too. They love them. Uh, my husband does too. So yeah, if you want to check these, this stuff out, you guys, uh, you do get to save 10% with my code and all of that is linked below in my description. All right, my dear friends. Oh, I am also offering personal readings and I'm super excited about my readings. They are evolving again, which I feel like that should happen. Everything should be evolving over time. But I have a few new readings over on my shop that you can check out. I'm doing more um, astrology readings as I had been taking a course for a while to try to get better at it. Constantly practicing, learning, you know, just trying to improve my skills. So yeah, if you guys need a reading, if you need some guidance or anything like that, I do have readings over on my website and you can book a reading with me. Um, and all that is also linked below in my description box. So let's get into your reading. I'll stop talking about all this stuff. All right, dear universe, what do my friends need to know today? What messages are coming through for them at this time? What is going on for the collective? Let's see. Take a deep breath. You guys can take a deep breath with me. Okay. I feel that right now, this Knight of Wands energy, like things are going in so many different directions. Almost a scatterbrained energy that's coming through, trying to make the right decision, having a lot of like a lot going on in the mind. Feeling almost rushed though. So let's see what this energy is here. Oh, she wanted to come out. So I feel like for some of you guys, this is actually a suggestion to ground yourself. Make sure that you're staying clear right now. Um, okay, and because I feel like Coming in, you know, the next couple days, whenever you're watching this, this is a timeless reading. Um, but what I feel like is going to have to happen here is you guys are going to have to make some decisions. Like I said, I feel like there is a lot going on which can make us feel confused. And then these other decisions come through, more than likely linked to material things, um, finances and stuff like that you're going to have to make a decision here. So being grounded and being focused is going to be very important for you guys over the next couple days. As these decisions come through, um, as you're, you know, going through this time here, I feel like for some of you, this is actually an offer to do something different. And this is why you're having to weigh up your options. Um, for many of you, this has to do with choosing between what you already have and what you know, some dreams and desires. I've been picking this up a lot where people are starting to get really antsy and, you know, 
doing the same old thing and they're ready to pick up and move on and do the things that they feel, you know, that fulfills their souls here. And I feel like that's what this is. I feel like you guys are making choices to do things more that fulfill your soul, but it's also this thing of, okay, is it is it time for me to do this? Is this possible for me to do this? And the message that's coming through is to take the opportunities that are coming right now. Just make sure you're staying grounded while making these decisions. I feel like you're going to be able to balance everything. And as you're balancing everything here, you guys, look, we have the Empress card, which is all about reaping blessings. It's all about abundance. So as long as you stay focused and driven, I feel like you guys are going to be very successful in what is coming through for you guys. And like I said, a lot of this, uh, I do feel like this is career. This would be more like a career uh, finance work reading that is coming through. For many of you, though, this... You guys, like I said, you're going to have options. There's two people coming in here or two different options coming in here. One option is more grounded. One is more that adventure desires. And it's about you weighing them up in order to choose what is best for you at this time here. Taking your time too, I think is going to be important for you. Um, don't rush, even though we have the Knight of Wands. So for many of you, I feel like we have the Three of Swords. There's a lot of fear surrounding um, making changes in your life and going after the things that you really love. Of course there is, because um, I know that me personally, <laughs> we mess up. We've done things in the past that have caused failures here and there's fear around it. But I feel like, and what I'm seeing here is the lessons that you have learned from your past are going to help you get through this. So you're able to actually do this correctly. So if you are starting a new business, maybe you're wanting to travel, maybe you're wanting to move, you're doing something here that you've always wanted to, something that fulfills desires for you. And um, I feel like when we have those desires, it's very important for us to follow them. Now, we don't always get to do them right away. So a lot of times people will be like, well, maybe that wasn't meant for me. Well, maybe it wasn't meant for you at the time because, you know, we didn't personally align to that. Um, a lot of times we're just learning a lot of lessons. We're working out a lot of karma in the meantime before we get to those, you know, big blessings. And that's so we can actually enjoy them. So we can actually appreciate them and have gratitude for them which is important for anything to grow. If we receive a blessing that turns into a curse, and I think I talked about this the other day, you know, that can happen a lot of times. We actually get what we want and we're not satisfied with it. And that's because we didn't do the inner work yet. So I feel like Spirit's been preparing you. You've been doing the inner work here so that fear can go away. So you don't have to fear, um, you know, making the right decisions in this. And there is hard work. There is a lot of, you know, perseverance that has to happen here and keeping energized and, like I said, determined here in order to follow this path. And that's the biggest thing. It is like I feel like the message here for many of you is about focus. So I just picked this up for some of you guys, too, and I'm sorry to kind of be all over the place, but I saw the lovers and it just hit me hugely because this does have to do with our desires, like I said. So I feel like for many of you, you've always wanted this stable and beautiful relationship, but there's a lot of fear because of past stuff, stuff that's happened in the past. When we hang on to that stuff, we bring it and we carry it into the new relationship. This is an opportunity for some of you guys to remove and release this stuff to really um, heal yourselves. And I feel like once you're healing yourself here, we have all these different options coming in. You have a choice now. You're going to be able to choose who you want in your life. No longer are you going to have to chase somebody, which is what I was picking up here. Like you were chasing love. Like you were chasing that desire, even if it isn't love for you guys. Because I am picking this up in general, that this has to do with our heart's desires being fulfilled. And we're stepping into a time over the next month that we are able to put all this into motion. But like I said, being very grounded and balancing everything is going to be important. So, you know, we have to be very clear headed during this time. It's not about just, ah, oh, okay, I'll do this. I'll do that. Being all over the place. You have to be disciplined. You have to be disciplined in your mind in order to make the right decisions. And if it's that important, you know, obviously we will do that. We will make those steps. 
If love is truly this important to you and you know you need to heal from past relationships, do that inner healing. Um, you know, if you, you desire to have an abundant life, if you desire to have your own business, to travel, whatever it is that you're really trying to build in your life that you desire, whatever fears are surrounding that, Spirit's asking you to remove them. You're going to be um, offered opportunities that are going to lead you to this um, heart's desires. But what's going to happen is you're also going to have to confront your fears, you guys. And it's very important for you to know what to do and how to feel when you're confronting them. Because once you confront them, you're going to overcome that karmic block, that karmic cycle. When you get to that blockage right there, you're going to know what to do. So for you guys, I feel the message today is, once again, this is about achieving our heart's desires, fulfilling these things, focusing on the things that bring you fear connected to those and working with those, asking yourself, how can you remove those blocks? How can you feel better about these things? Sometimes it just takes sitting in these fears and actually feeling them. And I know that sounds crazy, but a lot of times we run from our own feelings. We run from things and, you know, we try to mask them disguise them we do other things that you know we just try to distract ourselves from those feelings and a lot of and well I will tell you from personal experience the quickest way to get out of that feeling or to overcome it transmute it whatever you want to say is to feel it because there's actually information in that pain there's something there's a lesson in that pain and when you sit in it it'll tell you something so I recommend that for you guys, definitely. And I do think that's what the message is for you guys today, is to really focus on what is blocking you. What is blocking you from, you know, feeling fully like you can step into this, um, that you're not afraid anymore. Because I will tell you that any of those fears, you're going to have to face because it blocks you from actually receiving what you're wanting here. The universe is going to he wants to make you overcome these things. It's going to try to make you fearless in this if this is your heart's desire. So to become fearless, we actually have to face our fears. All right, my dear friends, I think that's all that I have for you guys today. I do hope you enjoyed this message and I hope you have a super blessed day. Thank you for watching.